Welcome back, sports fans, and greetings from the Betty Ingleshead Sioux Center in Grand Forks, where today it was day one of the Big Sky Women's Basketball Tournament. A quiet Betty now as all three games have wrapped up. I'm joined now by the voice of UND, Mitch Wigness. And Mitch, today UND got to kick their feet up, being the one seed and enjoy some basketball. But tomorrow it's down to business, as we found out late tonight that they'll be playing Idaho State. Yeah. Should be a good game, shouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the two games against Idaho State this year were barn burners. 48-47 uh, game in Pocatello, slugfest between both teams, and then an overtime game here in Grand Forks. So uh, if today's games were any indication how good this tournament's going to be, it's going to be fun tomorrow. And seeing all of UND's games, what are they going to have to do to get the victory and move into that championship game on Saturday? Oh, the thing that Coach Brewster's talked about a lot this year is rebounding. When they win the rebounding battle, they win games. And uh, they're one of the better rebounding teams in the country. And uh, when they can own the glass, they win games. Should be a good crowd tomorrow, shouldn't it? Yeah, that's the, the expectation tomorrow. Obviously, with uh, playoff games here tomorrow and then uh, the hockey game tomorrow at the, at the Ralph, it's a, a good pregame to get down here and uh, watch some women's basketball and then head over to the Ralph. All right, Mitch, thanks so much. Go get some rest. You got it. Will do. Yeah. That's Mitch Wigness, uh, the voice of UND. UND will tip off tomorrow night in the semifinals at 5 here at the Betty. The winner will advance to the championship game played at Saturday on Saturday at 3. Let's check today's scoreboard. The two-seed Southern Utah tops Sacramento State. The three-seed Montana tips Montana State. And as we just mentioned, Idaho State beats Eastern Washington in the late game by 5 in OT. So so here's a look at tomorrow's matchups. UND will take on Idaho State at 5. Montana and Southern Utah will play tomorrow night following the UND game. The UND men taking on Sacramento State in the first round out in Utah early on. First team all-conference guard Troy Huff doing Troy Huff things. The senior gets the old-fashioned three-point play to tie it up at 13. UND would trail by three at the break. Second half, Huff finds Ron Nash for the easy two. North Dakota up 43-42. Coach Brian Jones sees this game go down to the wire. UND bench, huge today. Josh Schuler on the pull-up J, ties it at 66, and UND wins it at the free throw line late, 79-66. They will put 79-76, excuse me. They will play tomorrow in the semis at 4:30. Huff led UND with 18. Aaron Anderson with 16. Here are the quarterfinal games set to take place that have already gotten done, and that you can see those scores right there. In North Dakota Class B girls basketball, it was region championship night throughout the state. In Region 2, it was Thompson and Hillsboro Central Valley in a rematch of last year's championship. Let's go down to a packed house in Mayville. The Tommies swept the season series. Thompson sophomore Chase Marks drives it to the basket, puts it in for the the hoop and the harm, HCV led by two at that point. This game back and forth all night. Tommy Shannon Gallagher was on fire early. She scores the layup. Thompson up four in the first half. The bread and butter of HCV, Kenny, Kennedy Hennings guard, takes it the length of the court, weaves in traffic and lays it in. But Thompson wins it 46-38 to to win Region 2. The Tommies are going back to state. Feels great to go back to state again this year. We've got a great group of kids that work hard. It wasn't easy tonight. Hillsborough Center Valley gave us a heck of a battle, but at the end of the game, the girls stepped through, and uh, they had two, and it was a big win for us. This was one of our goals all year long, and it feels absolutely amazing to be able to finally pull it off. We knew it would be a close game coming in. They, they're a hardworking team, and we knew that, but we ended up pulling it out. Region 4 championship, it was Lakota Edmore and North Star going at it in Devil's Lake. First quarter, Miranda Martinson to Shea Ronningen for the layup. Raiders up early. End of the first quarter, Kendall Hendrickson finds Stephanie Miller for the reverse layup. Bearcats down by four after one. Second quarter, Raiders pulling away. Taylor Anderson to Mary Hammam to Fallon Fragey for three. And Lakota Edmore is going to state they win it 65-45. Last time I went, you didn't know what it was like, and you get there in the lights and the fame, and everyone congratulates. The people you don't know are telling you congrats, and it's just you feel like a superstar. That was our goal, is just to get to the state tournament, and we know we're a good team. We know we can play any of those teams that are in it, so it's just as long as we go there and play well and have fun. At the NAIA Women's Tournament down in Sioux City, Iowa, Mayville State gets its first ever national tournament win, defeating Cornerstone 86-82. Comets were down by 20 points at one point. Mayville will play College of the Ozarks tomorrow at noon, and Jamestown beats Roosevelt just 
to advance to the round of 16. Jimmy's will play Cardinal Stitch tomorrow at 515 at the Tyson in Sioux City. Seen right here on Channel 8-3, Fargo Shanley boys taking on Bismarck Century out in Minot, Class A quarterfinal action. Deacons build a lead, but the Patriots come back. Tyler Rudolph scores 30, including these two, and Century knocks off Shanley 73 to 59. St. Mary's gets by Wapiton. Tanner Kretschmann goes for 45, a new opening round record as Davies beats Minot in a shootout 90 to 82. South leads South beats Bismarck. And on the girls' side, Bismarck tops Valley City by 10, and Minot gets the upset, beating West Fargo 62-59. Shanley scoots past Jamestown, and Davies knocks off the defending champ Bismarck Century by 6. The Northland women's basketball team wins by 2 in their national tournament. So a lot going on tonight, and tomorrow's going to be even busier as we have UND men's hockey at home. They're in the first round of the NCHC playoffs, hosting Colorado College and, of course, Idaho State against UND in women's basketball here at the Big Sky Tournament at the Betty. That's a 5 o'clock tip-off. It's going to be a fun weekend. Reporting live for WDAZ Sports at the Betty Sue Ingolstadt Arena in Grand Forks, I'm Dan Corey.